What is up, guys? Switch Cube Advance Gaming here, and thanks for clicking on the video. And welcome back to the weekly show, Should You Buy. Each week, we pick a random game and we cover it for you guys and tell you should you buy it or not. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we're covering Payday 2 today for the Nintendo Switch. <sighs> so let's dive right in. Payday 2 on a Nintendo Switch released just a little while back. And so far has sold decently well. It runs phenomenally on Switch. The frame rate is 30 frames a second, which is how it runs on all other platforms besides PC itself. For a little background, Payday 2 is a online co-op first-person shooter where you and your friends or randos online team up together to perform various heists or missions where you have to acquire money. That's That's the game. You can choose from a vast selection of weapons, masks, armors, melee weapons, weapon mods, different skill trees, and all that good stuff. So there is a lot of variety and strategic placement value in the game. The party system is you can go onto the online servers, create a room, and then invite your friends. Or, if your friends select the friend filter, they can find you. The system does work quite well. It works quite fast, and so far, I haven't had any problems. Now, the bulk of the game, if not all of the game, will be played online, so if you don't have people to play online with, this might not be the game for you to get, but if you do enjoy just playing online with some random people, it will still be a good time. It looks good, and that's all you can really say. Doesn't look bad, doesn't look good, looks the same as all other versions of the game, because it is a 2013 game, so it is five-year-old graphics. You don't expect top resolution. Wasn't going to happen. But in comparison to the other versions, it does look extremely, extremely good compared to the other versions. This game has had a big name for years and years, because it is one of the most played shooters in history, so that is you know something to say of the game's quality. The variety of guns is a little simple at times, but never boring. When you're in the mission with your friends, having the choice between your throwables, which is probably where I found the most fun in weapon customization, because you can throw things like normal grenades, or throwing cards, or playing cards rather, and that sometimes is the f most fun thing to do is just kind of test out the weird little things you can throw. So the game is $50, count them, 50 American US dollars. You can pick it up now on either eShop or in stores. If I were to give this game a rating out of 10, I'd give it a 8.5. This game is extremely fun. It really will keep you entertained for hours upon hours because just getting online with some friends, using Discord, voice chatting it up, and just going for it. It is a really, really fun time, and we'll keep you playing. It, I'm about 20 hours in, and still am enjoying every minute of it. So, the answer to the critical question, should you buy, is yes. The game definitely is worth every penny of the $50 that I spent on it, and I do not regret spending a single penny of that if you guys plan on picking up the game or want more information on the game, be sure to comment that down below and I can respond to some of your guys' further questions. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe no matter what. It's been SwitchCube Advanced Gaming. We'll see you in the next one.